Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today I wanted to share with you something that I bought the other day. So I want to show you what you can get for £350 spark wise. Yet yeah, you might think it's still expensive for spark, but I have reviewed recently that horrible JGRC X9 thing that I know now loads of people have had problems with, which was nowhere near a spark, it looked like one. And then there's also a Seafly Dream, which is the best part 200 quid. There's now a version 2 of that out, but I believe there's controller issues all over the place with that. So, in other words, to get a spark, you'll have to buy a spark. So, five or six months ago, I decided I'd sell my spark because I've got a lot of drones. A lot of camera drones, as you've probably seen my channel. When I bought the X9 to play with, because I wouldn't have ever kept it, it was only going to be to review, maybe have a couple of flights with it. I decided really that I wanted a spark back, so I bought this. So, this is what you can get if you're prepared to shop around and buy something used, but that you can get the history on. So this cost me under 350. It's a DJI Spark in lava red with three batteries. One of these was still sealed, one in the drone and two in the case. So this came with all three batteries. The charger, the iPhone cable, the transmitter, set of prop guards that are in here. I'm sorry, I've moved the set of prop guards. The three-way charge. And the prop guards and obviously I think it came with props and this case so I've, this cost £350 so the reason for doing this video and I'm gonna I'm gonna put you some footage of that I filmed yesterday so it's just flown outside of here outside my house so you can see the clarity of it and you aren't gonna beat this for a 1080p camera it's just not gonna happen if you're trying to get something for maybe £250 you're not gonna get a spark unless you wait a couple of years because I think it'll still keep going what, they're not going to change this model, because why would you? It still sells really well, the price has never taken a real drop. You can get some refurbs, or you can buy them used, but they've never took a real drop. So they're not going to do much with it, I'll be honest with you. When I blew this again, I realised just how much I love Sparks. I know that there's people had problems with them, but I can only speak from experience, and I've had no problems whatsoever, and this flies like I expected it to fly. As you can see, there's not a mark on the thing anywhere it's like brand spanking new it's had very little flight time i think it's had two hours flight time in total and as i say one of the batteries was completely sealed so it's brand new i love the spark now when i reviewed the hoops and zeno recently i expected the hoops and zeno to be better than this i expected the image quality to be better because this thing has limitations it's only got well, people say 10, I've never had less than 12 minutes. So you get 12 minutes flight time. So with three batteries, I'm going to get 36 minutes. With Zeno, one battery, I'm going to get low 20s. Well, I've never got 20, but I know people have. I've been getting 18 when I've blown mine. But the camera on the Zeno, in my opinion, is nowhere near up to the quality of this. This is sharper in all aspects. This is only a 1080p 30 frame per second camera. The footage you're going to see um, below, I'll put it on now, below... This is filmed outside yesterday, it's in 1080p, 30 frames a second, and everything on this was stock. Nothing was different at all, it's filmed on a U3 card, and like I say, everything was stock, the setup and everything on the camera was stock. No, de no variation, it's had its latest update, because it needed one like DJI does, it's one of the things you're going to have with DJI. But apart from that, it was perfect. You can buy this drone, obviously, without the transmitter, and you can pick one of them up, I've seen one yesterday for 250 quid. Uh, but you've not got a transmitter. You can fly it with your phone. Yes, I I don't like flying it with my phone. But if you want to use follow me mode, and that's what you want the drone for, I presume it will be absolutely fine for that. It's just not my preference to fly with the phone. And I'll be totally honest with you, I'm not very good at it. So the only drone that I can fly with a drone is the Ghost Drone V2. I can fly that with the phone because of the it's actually made just for phone and nothing else. So the camera quality you'll see in the little attachment is great. There's hundreds of videos for the Spark. I posted a video the other day for the Spark where I filmed it in very poor low light conditions. And to me it's far better than the Xeno quality. Will the Xeno ever be there? I hope so. When I get when if I ever get the new one sent to me, that if they ever do that, then it might be better. Mine might just be a really good one with a bad camera. And I have seen some that look a, look better than mine. But the flying characteristics of the of these drones is not as good as this. 
certainly the X9 and the videos I've seen of the Seafly camera quality is just abysmal. So if you want a cheap spark, you're going to have to buy a spark in other words. If I could find another camera drone in this kind of price bracket, I'll obviously review it. But I'm not holding my breath at trying to get this. I've tried a lot of drones recently. A lot of things that pretend they're going to be as good. And even the Anapi now, this was £150 less than the Anapi. So I paid £150 less than what you can buy an Anapi for at the minute. If you can get the Anapi at 449 it's still a fantastic deal. And yeah, this isn't an Anapi. This doesn't have the flight time. It doesn't have a 4K camera. But this is, for me, absolutely brilliant. It's dead small. I can just put it... To get it up and running is literally seconds, literally plug it in, plug the cable in, start up the app and I'm, out, I'm away and I'm flying. I never really mess with the settings on it because the picture quality looks fine from that point of view. So like I say, I keep searching to try and find something that's better than this. But to me, I don't think it's, it's going to happen unless someone actually makes a new drone. So someone may make a new drone but Parrot I believe are not in the market anymore. I can't see... The big players do it. I can't see Altel making anything to do against this. Unique. You've seen my Mantis Q video. Cost the same money as this. Just the pulled apart. Mantis Q does fly really well. I'll say that. But for camera quality, it's not even in the ballpark of this. And I paid 350 quid for that on a deal. The new price of both of these drones is still significantly more to buy the Mantis Q than the Spark. Go figure doesn't make any sense to me so I still highly recommend this today in 2019 I had when I bought mine originally I bought it I think it was out it'd been a week maybe a week and a half when I ordered mine and bought it I had it for quite a while flew it a lot but then decided to sell it big regret I should never have done that because it didn't really owe me anything anymore and it really is a fantastic drone so if you've never had a spark before and you thought about it think no more these things are fantastic Yes, you're going to get people that say they've had issues and they've had issues and they've had to send it back. So have everybody with every drone. I've had issues with other drones that I've had to send back in the past and get sorted because of what it is. If you look at it the way that the video I'm recording on, on the video that I'm doing this on is recorded on a Canon GX7 Mark II. It's a £500 camera and it doesn't fly. If you look at it that way, drones are quite reasonably priced. Even when you think a drone might be a lot of money when it's a grand for the Altel Evo, uh, $1,000. It's got a 4K camera. Go buy yourself a 4K camera to shoot video on. It's a bit of a no-brainer. So, yeah, drones are quite expensive. But in relation to cameras, decent cameras and everything else, I don't think they're that bad at all. I'm not a DJI fanboy. I like drones. And if it's an Autel drone and I like it, I like it. If it's a unique drone and I like it, I like it. If it's this, I like it. So coming up, you're going to see a few more drones coming up. I've got a couple of decent, I've got some nice, couple of nice camera drones that I've got coming up that have been out a little bit. They're not new. I'm going to do the reviews on them so you can see what they're like. They've been out a bit now, but you can pick them up really, really on a good deal second hand. I, I personally am never scared to buy a drone used. If you buy it off eBay, you've got the eBay guarantee which favours the buyer every single time. I've sold stuff on eBay that's been nothing wrong with it. People have sent it back to me saying there's an issue with it, I fly it, or it was, it was, it was a transmitter actually, the last thing I ever had. You just have to resell it again. So it very much favours the buyer. So if you buy a drone and you're not happy with it and it's broken or something's wrong with it when you get it, you just get your money back. It's as good, if not better, than buying from the Chinese sites, but at a fraction of the cost. So, I'm not saying go buy everything off eBay by all means, but what I'm saying is you can, if you're prepared to look around, get some decent cheap drones. This, to me, was a really good price. There was about five or six for sale at the £400 mark. Uh, we a similar combo, and then you just look for what you want, and let, why not make an offer? If you're the price for buy it now, make an offer. But every time, I highly recommend it. Push for the offer and try and get it a bit cheaper. You can find you can get some real bargains out there. So, thanks ever so much for watching. I've got loads of good stuff coming up shortly. And have a fantastic day.